You with Civic Studios? Chris Miss Ivy. Good morning once again and welcome to Olive Harvey Middle College. 
for the graduating class of 2023. Let the commencement exercise begin. Drum roll, please. today to be here and celebrate us. Thank you for getting us through these obstacles to get where we are today. Bless those who have come to help us to get where we are today. I pray that no matter what we go through, everyone stays safe on their journey. Even though we're ending this journey, I pray everyone does well in their new one. I love every graduate unconditionally and wish them nothing but the best. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
please stand and join us and lift every voice and sing. Good morning, honorable guests, family, friends, and guardians. 
um, graduates. I am graduate scholar Angela Medina. Welcome to All of Harvey College 2013. We would like to thank each one of you for being here and celebrating with us today. It has been a long journey, but we finally made it to the end. We are winners, we are victorious, we can do all things. And this is because of our villages that guided us to our first major finish line. We know that this is just the beginning of the rest of our lives. And we are eager to see what lies ahead of us. We also know this day means more to some of you than it does to us. Please sit back and enjoy our magnificent show we have provided for you. I now present to you all of Harvey, class 2013. Thank you. Buenos días, invitados, familiares y amigos presentes acá. Eh, soy el alumno Brandon Fuentes. Y Oliver Harvey Middle College presenta esto y gracias por haber venido y, y, y estamos muy agradecidos este día más importante para algunos de ustedes que para los que estamos acá. Así que estamos muy agradecidos que ustedes estén acá con nosotros apoyándonos y muchísimas gracias. I was very nervous. 
I was scared that I wasn't going to get along with anyone and I wasn't going to make friends. But as soon as I arrived, I was welcomed with beautiful big smiles and every single teacher had helped me whenever I needed help knowing where a class was or any assignments. My classmates were also so nice to me and, and sweet to me whenever I needed help knowing anything and I appreciate them for that. I could stand up here and talk to the about the amazing teachers and author Gabriel memories and relationships that have composed to our high school experiment. I hope we have more songs and more people to introduce you to, so thank you guys once again. Special guests, family, friends, and graduates. I'm Brianna Dixon, valedictorian of the 2020 class of Alpha Alpha. <laughs> we are here today to celebrate a great accomplishment. That accomplishment is start is the start of our adulthood. Everyone in this room should be extremely proud of themselves. The graduating class should be for working hard and seeing it through and making it to the end. Teachers, family, and friends should be for being such an amazing support system. I know I don't, think, don't speak for myself when I say I, we couldn't have done this without, without you. We thank you and we love you. I personally like to thank my mom, sister, nana, family, and friends. I don't know if they realize how much their presence in my life has made an impact on me for the better. They make me want to strive for success to give myself a better life and for them to be able to ask me for anything and always have it because they'll always make sure to provide for me. Graduates, there have been lots of laughing, crying, good memories, hard days where you may have felt like giving up, but this isn't the end. Life is always going to life. For some, this means furthering your educations. For others, this means working or pursuing your creative entrepreneurial dreams. The best thing you can do is keep moving forward and use your past to learn for the future. Always believe in yourself even when nobody else does. Surround yourself with supporting, supportive, loving people who will stick with you through thick and thin and always be the best you can be and never settle for less than what you know you deserve. Yes. I believe everyone in the graduating class will do great things and make it far. I know we are all excited, nervous, and earnest for the things life has in store for us and the amazing opportunities and doors that will open for us. I wish you all the best and congratulations my fellow OHMC graduates. We finally made it.
Okay, once a OHMC scholar, always a OHMC alum. So thank you again. Now, as stated, I was not the speaker, so I don't have a speech, but I do have a poem. You know, this group, I must say, has been one of the most resilient groups that we've had in a very long time. And the poem, Still I Rise, by Maya Angelou, definitely exudes resiliency, right? So scholars, I'm gonna read a poem to you today, all right? You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in very dirt, but still, like dust, I'll rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Because I walk like I've got oil wells pumping in my living room. Just like moons and like suns with the certainty of tides, just like hope springing high, still I rise. Did you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soulful cries? Does my hotness offend you? Don't you take it awful hard? Cause I laugh like I've got gold mines digging in my own backyard. You may shoot me with your words. You may cut me with your eyes. You may kill me with your hatefulness. But still, like air, I rise. Does my sexiness upset you? Does it come as a surprise that I dance like I've got diamonds at the meeting of my thighs? Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. Up from a past that's rooted in pain, I rise. I'm a black ocean leaping and wide, welling and swelling I bear in the, in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise. Into a daybreak that's wondrously clear, I rise. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave, I am the dream and the hopes of the slaves. I rise, I rise, I rise. Scholars, you will rise. So just know, remember, God never puts more before you than you can handle. Live your dash with decency, dignity, and diligence. No matter the obstacle or task, you keep reaching. No matter the hardship or pain, you keep reaching. No matter the rags or the riches, you keep reaching. Some say the goal is never reached, but I beg to differ because the goal is within you. So just reach for your goal, scholars. I love you. I love you. Congratulations.
2023. Today, I have been honored. Without further ado, now introducing our current president of Hall Olive Harvey College, Dr. Kimberly Hollingsworth. <laughs> I 
I do not stand before you as someone that sees themselves as better than you. I am literally an older version of each of our graduates. Just to think, 33 years ago, yeah, that's the 90s. <laughs> I was a high school senior. I was an 18-year-old with a chip on my shoulder. But I had life all figured out. I was going to go to college, I was going to major in business, and I was going to own my own financial consulting company. Clearly that didn't happen. But I was standing in my own way. I was determined, but I was also angry. I was mad that I had spent 17 years of my life watching my mother be abused by my father. I grew up poor, and I was angry that fried bologna, powdered milk, and sugar toast were staples in my household. And that when I, <laughs> and when I prepared to go school shopping, I found myself at yard sales at the rich suburban neighborhoods. I was disappointed because I had to attend the state, local state university because my parents couldn't afford to send me away to my dream school, Spelman. All right. And needless to say, I also grew up emotionally destitute. I love you. You're doing a great job. How can I support or help you? Were not com common conversations in my household. I was a tough, smart mouth time boy in high school. That's why. Anaya, <clears throat> when I ran into you that day, I felt compelled to advocate on your behalf because you reminded me a lot of myself. And look at you now, rank number three in your graduating class. Girl, you did that. I can recall my senior counselor sitting to me. You could really grow up to be something special if you learn that every situation is not a fight. But that's all I knew how to do. Out here like Miss Sophia in the color purple, all my life I had to fight. So I did. And then my freshman year in college, life happened. I was devastated by the death of my best friend who was killed in a car accident. So Travion. I understand how that void feels. You had to grow up really fast when you lost your father. But congratulations. <laughs> my mom was institutionalized due to her struggles with her mental health, and my father was no longer in the picture in college. <clears throat> I was working two part-time jobs to survive, but my mom had lost the house, so I worked and went to school year-round. Any of this sound familiar? But oh, the places I would go. I could have easily chosen to give up and drop out. But I saw how my friends were living, the prospect of life, happy, thriving was a possibility, and I knew that was a place that I wanted to be. While I was in college, I was able to access resources that would temper my anger and help me to learn to channel my energy towards more meaningful and positive interactions. You have to be vulnerable enough to enter the spaces that have inherently been uncomfortable or unfamiliar to you. Do you remember your first day at the Middle College, Roy Garcia? <laughs> you went from uncertainty, and now I hear that you are the man amongst your peers. <laughs> credit under your belts. But I also realized that not all of you have plans to go away to college. Our highest ranking graduate whom you heard from, Brianna, Brianna yeah. will be attending the esteemed Clark University. Yeah. has made the noble Woo. decision to serve our country. National Guard. And Brandon will be 
be attending the greatest college on the southeast side of Chicago. I love Harvard College. Estamos aquí para ti en cada paso del camino. We'll be here with you every step of the way. Yet many of you may be uncertain about the path ahead, unsure of the direction you should take, and that's perfectly okay. I talked about those who may not be going to college, but in fact, starting with this class, this graduating class, every student that graduates from the Olive Harvey Middle College will receive a scholarship from Olive Harvey College. The places you'll go after high school will be shaped by your choices, your dreams, and your actions. You know what's so great about that? You have the power to determine your own future. Be unapologetic about who you are and what you bring to the table. You see, I entered my presidency as the only female president in the district at the time. I didn't let that silence my voice, although at times I would do things or make decisions that would yield a side eye from my male counterparts. But you know me, I just hit my boss, the chancellor, with, it's cool when they do it, but it's a problem when I do it. <laughs> Be a problem, a good problem, and see the places you'll go. Graduates, I stand before you today with utmost admiration and respect for your resilience. You have traveled a long and sometimes bumpy road. Kobe Bryant once said, May you always remember to enjoy the road, especially when it's a hard one, because that road leads you to greatness. Graduates, you are destined, destined for greatness. Life may not always be easy, and challenges will surely arise. But let me remind you that it's during these challenging moments that your character is forged. The places you'll go after high school are limitless, and I have no doubt that you will make a profound impact wherever you go. Thank you, and congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you again, Dr. Holly, for, for those wonderful, wonderful words. Family, wasn't it one of the best decisions you made a year or two ago? sending your scholars to Olive Harvey Middle College. Yes. Tell me it was. You just heard them speak Swahili. They yes. sang in Spanish. They're receiving scholarships. Come on now. Just for you entrusting them with us. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Now, the moment that our scholars have been waiting for. You guys ready? It is time to confer the diploma.
the niece. Oh, no. Lanise Cartagena. <laughs> Mr. Roy Garcia. <laughs> the man. First row, you may be seated. Second row, please stand and line up.
Please put everything under your chairs so you can really get into this song. Yes.
Are y'all excited? I can't hear you. Are y'all excited? Make some noise! Good morning, everybody. I am graduate senior scholar Jonathan Nash. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are gathered to celebrate our graduation, a milestone achieved through hard work and dedication. On behalf of the graduating class, I expect our deepest gratitude to our families, teachers, and mentors who have supported and guided us through our educational, oh, sorry, our educational journey. Their unwavering love, encouragement, and sacrifices have been instrumental in our success. We also acknowledge the friendship and camaraderie we have achieved and found within our classmates. And we carry these bonds as a reminder of strength and unity. In addition to express gratitude, I am honored to present the gift from all of Harvey Middle College's 2023 seniors. We believe in the transformative power of education and wish to make a long-lasting impact on the lives of future students. The gift represents our hope to provide financial assistance to deserving individuals who may face barriers in pursuing their dreams. As we embark on the next chapter of our lives, let us carry the spirit of grat gratitude, resilience, and compassion that have guided us thus far. May we strive to make a positive difference, embrace diversity, and be the catalyst of change. Thank you and congratulations to the graduating class of 2023. Mr. T, may you please come to the stand. Let's give it up for our principal, Mr. T. All of Harvey Middle College, we accept this gift and we appreciate your thankfulness and your gratitude and your consideration of us. And we hope you carry those qualities throughout your life for everybody who helps. Yeah. We love you. somewhere. This is the most late graduation I'm sure many of us have been to. It's only 10.20. It feels like it's like 7.30 and we're in somebody's backyard or hanging out barbecue and kicking. But thank you. So my president always joked that um, I'm the doer of the work. So this is actually what, as best reading, is a lot of my duties 
on how I cover the college. So um, again, my name is Dr. Brandon Nichols. I serve as the Senior Vice President of Academic Affairs here at OHC. And um, anything that falls on the academics. So our middle college, our adult education program, we have an urban agriculture program, arts and sciences, and also our center of excellence, which is our TDL programs that's in the next building, along with a STEM center. So for our graduates, I hope with all the many college credit options that we have available, that you all choose the best community college on the Southeast South of Chicago, Alabama College. Because this is really, I know I stand between our final selection and you all being able to really enjoy and kick it, but really it comes down to really moments that matter, right? Yeah. Right now, this is a moment that matters yeah. for many of us. It's not just about our graduates, which we want to give a round of applause one more time for our graduates. But, I, but I'm sure we all know, and I hear everybody calling out your folks' name, but really it comes down to this is a win for the family, right? Yeah. And family doesn't necessarily mean blood. Family could be the aunt, the uncle, the relative, the in-law, the neighbor. Hey, I raised you growing up. I showed you how to play basketball. I used to watch you as a kid. All these different things go down to the family. So Ms. Harvey mentioned earlier about the village, uh, Olive Harvey Middle College. But really, this right here, everybody being here today, you all represent the village. Yeah. And we know at the end of the day, it's really about the village on how we can put our arms around our graduates. I got into the when Brianna had mentioned earlier that, hey, there are moments where you, you're mad, you feel like crying, you're upset. But again, we push forward. This is part of the journey. So I empower our graduates and the village to be able to enjoy this moment because this is all part of the journey. Um, our president mentioned that all of us really represent an older version of you. Um, I was talking with a friend of mine earlier and um, being the president, or well, vice president, I'm sorry, Vice President, I know, speaking into assistance, right? <laughs> Being the Vice President of Olive Harvey College, I never thought this would be something that I would, you know, think of that would exist when I was at this age, sitting here waiting for graduation. Um, I, I grew up on uh, 85th of Euclid and 87th of Jeffrey. I went to high school over east at St. Francis de Sales off 101st and Ewan. And, you know, you think about the neighborhoods that we all come from, you know, we just try to do what we need to do, right? Yeah. But at the end of the day, this is part of the journey. This is, an, this is one of many chapters that you will have. So like a chapter, we think about how can you be the author of your own story. So for our graduates, I empower you all today to begin and continue to write to be the author of your own story. Because this is not the end. And we're going to be right there wrapping our arms around our graduates every step of the way. Because that's what the village does. So I'd like to thank you all for being here today to be part of this moment, because really, this is a moment that matters, but this is not the end. But in order for our graduates to continue to grow, they need the village, and we're part of the village. One last thing, I encourage everybody in the audience to take as many pictures as possible. Um, it's this thing in psychology that's called flashbulb memory, right? And you ever looked at a picture and it takes you back to that moment when you took that picture? So uh, my, my high school picture actually has uh, my grandmother on one side and my mother on the other side. Uh, my grandmother you know, is no longer living, but I represent her every day by talking about her name and speaking into existence right now. Uh, my mother, like Dr. Hollinsworth mentioned, also is um, battling mental illness as well that we don't talk about, right? So I look back at that picture and I think about that moment. It's like a flashbulb. So I encourage everybody in this room to take pictures with you as a family. And I know that some of y'all just, I know my family hate taking pictures. Don't, don't take a picture of me. Where are you going to post today? I want to eat my face all over social media. But please, take the picture because that picture represents that memory that will last forever. They're, these graduates are going to pass forward from this moment. So thank you. Take your pictures. And for our graduates, enjoy the journey.
either go away for us in the chaos, or, yeah, that's what y'all can do. Because I need the back clear. I need the back clear. Anybody that's standing, I need the back clear. And graduates, before you leave the premises, you see the flowers up here? It's one for each of you to give to someone special. These are real plants. It's one plant for each of you. So make sure you get your plant before you leave, okay? You can keep it or you can give it to someone, but it's a gift from us to you. Real life plant, so don't kill it. <laughs> yep. On both sides, okay? Okay. Don't leave you guys though. I just needed the back clear. That's all. Then we're gonna go ahead and finish the pro program. Yes, can we have a seat, please? Thank you so much. Okay, stop. All right, <laughs>
Cardio Core. And why is today so special to you? Uh, today is special to me because I was supposed to have this day last year, but you know, things happened. Things took a course. So I really just got back on track. I came back to, uh, well, I transferred over to Olive Harvey Middle College, and then that's why I finished my, uh, my uh, senior year of high school. So that's why this is special. Why is education important to you? Um, education is important to me because it comes from a, a, a it's like, it's a, it's a big foundation that, that you want to have on your record. So, yeah, um, that's definitely why education is important to me and because, um, uh, <laughs> and because, um, I'm also going to school to be an auto tech, so, yeah, that's why education is important to me. What's so special about today? Um, what's so special about today is that um, I get to spend it with my family and my friends, and um, also because of my mom, because I graduated because of her, uh, because of myself and her, but I did it for her as well, so. And she's here with me, so, yeah. Where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, where I see myself in five years? Probably working at a dealership. At a dealership, probably Dodge, maybe, or Mercedes Benz, but working for some type of car company. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? 10 years, that's 29. Well, I see myself in 10 years, probably married at that time, started a family, um, and a, maybe a mansion, maybe. But uh, I know I'm gonna be successful, I know. So yeah, successful in 10 years, living my best life. <laughs> what are your plans for tonight? Uh, my plans for tonight, uh, go out with my friends and just enjoy this day, enjoy this day with my family. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, just keep going. Whatever you're going through, just keep going. You're going to get through it. It's going to be a storm, but you're going to get through the storm. You just got to keep your head up. So just keep going. And, uh, what, what roles have alternative schools played for you leading up to this point? Um, the roles that alternative schools played a part in is that they, they've given me a second opportunity. They've given me a second chance to get my um, high school diploma. So I really appreciate that. Brandon. Brandon Fuentes. My name is Brandon Fuentes. Hey. Okay. No me mires a mí. Okay. ¿Qué es tu nombre? My name is Brandon Fuentes. Why is today so special? ¿Por qué es por qué es hoy importante para ti? Because I'm working really really hard. And for every year, y he trabajado muy fuerte y duro para esto, para este día, muchísimos años. Así que por eso este día es tan especial para mí. What challenges have you had leading up to this point? ¿Qué cosas han prevenido? ¿Qué cosas? ¿Qué cosas me han provocado? Como... Sí, que, por ejemplo, que, ¿por qué has pasado que te previene, previenes 
¿Cómo? ¿Qué retos he tenido? Ah. Bueno, me la puede decir ahorita la pregunta de nuevo. ¿Qué retos has tenido? Eh, los retos que he tenido son eh, el lenguaje por ratos y también muchísimas algunas tareas que se me complicaban y, y también el, bueno, el hecho del lenguaje que ya lo dije por prim la primera cosa y pues ahí lo demás ha sido un poco fácil y, y difícil a la vez. El rol que ha tenido la escuela conmigo es ayudarme y ser buenas personas conmigo. Me ayudaron en algunos eventos en los que necesitaba ayuda, así que han sido de una gran ayuda para mí. ¿Por qué es la educación importante para ti? Okay. La educación para mí es importante para llevar a cabo mis metas como las, las que quiero, quiero estudiar marketing y muchísimas más, eh, otras cosas, programación, muchísimas cosas que me gustan, así que por eso es tan importante la educación para mí. ¿Cuáles son tus planes para el futuro? Mis planes para el futuro son ir a la universidad, acabar mis estudios y poder tener un buen trabajo, y también lo que me gustaría también, mientras tengo un buen trabajo, jugar en, una, en un equipo de fútbol. ¿Qué son tus planes para hoy, para la noche? Mis planes para hoy de la noche son eh, dormir e ir a comer <ríe> y prepararme para el futuro. ¿Qué fue tu favorito? ¿Cuál es el momento favorito de hoy? Mi parte más favorita fue, en realidad fue toda. La pasamos muy bien, la disfruté con todos mis compañeros el último día. Eh, y pues, eso. ¿Hay otra cosa que te gustaría decir? Eh, me gustaría decir que eh, echenle ganas al estudio. Eh, a sus metas y luchen por ellas, no se detengan, que ninguna barrera los tape para que se les sea imposible, porque todo es posible en la vida. Well, today's so special for me because, like, I'm finally getting out of high school, like, you know, like, I'm finally get to go out into the free world, be me, be a free man, and also protect this country because like they said before in a, in a graduation like I'm going in the military like I'm in the military so I gotta go protect the country and yeah <laughs> uh, what are some challenges you've had leading up to this point kind of being late a lot of the times uh challenges I've had oh cut that out <laughs> cut that out challenges I've had um getting kicked out of my old school because At my old school, they did put a lot of struggles on me and tried to downplay me a lot, along with me joining with the military. But when I got out of that school and came to All Party, that completely changed my life around because, like, All Party, All Party brought like therapists for me, a lot of uh, like a lot of opportunities for me, like the construction program they have here, the YAP program, and they just gave us a full ride scholarship too on top of that. So that, yeah, yeah. Why is education so important to you? Education is important to me because when you continue with education, you can continue doing a lot of things that you want to do with your life, such as like if you want to go to trade school or even college, for example. You can prolong your life and also prolong your spirits with that. Yeah. <laughs> What are your plans for the future? Uh, Restart that. <laughs>
and then just go ahead and repeat what I asked. Okay. What are your plans for the oh, future? Oh, okay. My plans for the future, well, I'm already enlisted into the military, so I plan on prolonging and doing that for 20 years before I can get my retirement benefits, alongside becoming a real estate agent and a real, no, I'm sorry, a real estate agent and a real estate investor also, so I can have passive income on the side while I pursue being in the military, serving the country. What's your favorite part of today? Going home and singing. My favorite part of today is... Oh, wait, yeah. Well, my favorite part of today is, personally for me, going home and going to sleep and knowing that I'm done with high school. That's it. What are your plans for tonight? To go out and go to sleep. My plans for tonight. Oh, wait, I keep on forgetting that. My plans for tonight, they're most likely going to involve me going home at my grandparents' house, going to sleep, watching TV, and just relaxing now that I finally have peace from school. What's your name? Angela. What's so special about today for you? What's so special about me today is that I finally was able to graduate and being able to have my family with me. What were some challenges that you had leading up to today? Um, some challenges today was probably um, having difficulty in the speech or being too nervous. And now what role has alternative schools played for you leading up to this point? Sorry, what was that? What roles has alternative schools played for you leading up to this point? Okay. Um, the roles they have played for me this role is um, making sure I get my work done and being educated. I'm sorry. And just making sure. Oh, just making sure I always turn my work and being here on time and making sure I do my best. Yeah. Sorry, well, can I repeat the question? Challenges I've had leading up to today. Okay. Challenges I had leading up to today was probably having difficulties or being nervous to read the speech today. And, yeah. uh, why is education important to you? Uh, education is important to me because it will help me go into college and do nursing as I plan to do. And, uh, elaborating a little more into those plans, so what do you see yourself in five years? Uh, in five years, I see myself probably getting my degree for becoming a nurse with special needs babies and being able to work in a hospital with newborn babies. Where do you see yourself in ten years? In ten years, I see myself probably already uh, able to get my job and probably be able to spend time with my family more and just being able to be with them all the time. What's your favorite part of today? Uh, my favorite part of today was probably when we, had a got, when we got the diplomas. That was really exciting. What are your plans for tonight? Uh, my plans for tonight is partying with my family that came to see me today and just being able, spending time with my sisters. And is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, that I'm so happy that I was able to graduate and I'm so grateful for my friends and teachers and family that came along with me and joined me on this journey. And yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, go ahead and, and tell me your name and, and your title. Okay. My name is Ms. Shalise Harvey. I am an English instructor as well as post-secondary coordinator for Olive Harvey Middle College. And why is today so special? Today is extremely special for me because this is graduation day. It's my favorite day of the year. I have worked extremely hard with each and every senior 
from the time they've gotten here, but pretty much these last two months, we have become best friends and uh, all the work we've done over the last two months led up to today, graduation day. So it was extremely special to see all the work that they were preparing for come to life today. What were some of those challenges you experienced leading up to this point as far as your relation with the uh, uh, graduates? So some of the challenges that uh, we've experienced leading up to graduation, definitely um, our scholars come from a lot of various backgrounds. Um, they have different challenges themselves, such as getting to school, period, let alone on time, having the f uh, financial me means or transportation to get to school. Um, some of them are heads of household, so it's times where they can't be here so I've had challenges of getting them here and then getting them invested in their own education more than the adults in the building were invested into their education so that was a huge challenge but it showed today that they know they're the leaders of their future and they're going to be the ones in charge of it once they leave this building and they showed us today that they're ready. How does it make you feel where um, you've helped somebody with extreme challenges, where that's what it's come down to, where now you can see that they understand they're the leader of their future. How does that make you feel? Um, it makes me feel um, extremely heartwarmed on the inside, uh, knowing that, see baby, knowing that these students well, really knowing that I was once them, because I am a graduate of the middle college as well, umpteen years ago, but I was once one of them. So I faced a lot of challenges and adversities myself. And the adults in the building, the village, as we, as we say, the village helped me overcome all those adversities and I couldn't do anything but pay it forward. And that's why I came back to teach here. So um, definitely, seeing me in them and seeing them overcome so much right now is the reason that I'm still here and the reason that I'm not going anywhere. Well said. Why is education important to you? Um, without Education is extremely important to me because without education, it's just like reading. If, if you don't know how to read, how are you going to succeed, right? So if you don't have some education, it's like you don't have anything, you know? People with, how do I want to say this? I'm trying to be politically correct. Um, education is key. Education is key. Education is a powerful weapon. And those of us that have education are some of the most powerful people on the planet. You don't have to have a gun, a knife, fist, a stick. Your brain, that's what you need. This is the most powerful weapon. So education to me is extremely important because it's the most powerful thing you can have. What's your favorite part about today? My favorite part about today is the conferring of the diplomas. Um, the students have worked extremely hard to pass all of their classes, um, to overcome all of the different adversities from the outside and the inside. And once they get that diploma and they're able to turn that tassel, that just fills my heart right there knowing that we have just produced a new set of productive citizens. So that's my, my, uh, my favorite outcome of the day, the tassel turning. And how do you feel, um, how has alternative schools played a role in, in guiding these graduates to this point? Okay, um, alternative schools have played a role into guiding our scholars to this point um, because they, it gives them a second chance. A lot of times we look at alternative education as something negative. I look at alternative education as something greater. This is a second chance for them 
and it's a better chance for them. A lot of times, you know, the first time it, it, it could just be practice, right? The second time we're going to do it right or we're going to do it better. So alternative education gives the youth that chance to do it better than they did it the first time. So I'm, I'm extremely, um, extremely grateful for alternative education, extremely grateful for it.